<clears throat> Next one is kind of a little bit of pain in the butt. Okay, now the copper. <clears throat> okay, copper to P. Okay, so again, the first peak was placed there and uh, go over here and then they try to place it over here. But for the copper to P, we can select this and you can add the doublet for this uh, far selected one, okay? So this will be, uh, add the <coughs> um, doublet at the 19.75, that's the correct value. You should check this. Sometimes this program has a wrong uh, um, split energy value, all right? And the uh, uh, second one is place over here, maybe I'll fall back a little bit, and then add the doublet. Oops, no, I didn't add a doublet there, did I? Yeah, I did, sorry. Okay, <clears throat> and then this one doesn't give you the choice of being a doublet. It's because it's a little bit too far in there. So you pull back a little bit, and then you can add a doublet. All right, <clears throat> so we have three sets of doublets. Um, bring it down even more. <clears throat> okay, and uh, um, so see if we can fit it. All right, fit this. Okay, these uh, uh, satellite peaks get fitted fairly well um, with these um, ones over here but not the uh, um, main peak. So, and we, let's say, you know, again, we take this off. For the metals, I let it go for, uh, move it freely. Okay, even that, uh, it helped a little bit, but not quite. So that means actually there's one more peak right here. So this will show the difference, right? These fit fairly well, but this one, we don't have enough. So you come over here, and uh, this is where it's gonna go, and I will add doublet, okay? And uh, I'll come back, and then try to fit it again. Okay, so this fits fairly well. Um, best you could do. Uh, you could actually um, remove the restrictions on the um, this one here to um, fit it a little bit better. Um, but um, because you know some of the satellite peaks is actually extra um, is being lost. Some of the electrons are lost into here, but. The big difference is right, these two right there and over here, but I'm quite happy. Um, so I just say, okay. All right. So now you go look at the um, energies. All right. And before that, I'm going to select the whole thing. And uh, um, yeah, in the display, I will get rid of this um, labels and uh, wiggles on top. I just think it's cleaner. <clears throat> All right. So um, you can actually line up by clicking uh, peak BE. And uh, so we have uh, three oxygen, I mean, carbon peaks and three oxygens, copper. Um, okay, I have a whole, okay, this one we use, and these two, but these two are the, um, these right here for the satellite, so we're going to uh, click these out. We are not going to use that um, in uh, calculating atomic percent. So we have one peak at this 93.94, 11%. 93, 4.36 at uh, almost 20%. Okay, so these I believe uh, they're probably the different type of uh, um, oxide, and uh, 
this OJ peak being um, the way it is, probably tell you the uh, what uh, um, ox I mean, their oxide, not the um, pure metal. So that's why the first peak is probably um, probably Cu two O, and then second one is Cu O. So I'm going to save this, and uh, I call these things a narrow scan, and um, narrow scan dash A. You can name whatever you want. My emulator is being pretty slow. Okay, so um, after this uh, finished naming, okay, and then I'm gonna go back to the uh, QuickTime and pause it over here. All right, and it's not showing. So I'm. Gonna